Welcome all you plus two common modifiers back to the stream. Welcome back to the Flash Game Paradox, where I try to find games that could belong in my Flash Museum before Flash dies in December. And today we have a game that was either suggested by Peachy or Mr. Gamer Man on one of my other streams, but I didn't write down who it was. And I'm sorry, it happened on the stream, so I don't have a copy of it. But they wanted me to play the Powder Game. And, uh... Today we're going to have a really chill day, so this is just, this is a little bit more free form, and uh, it's just going to be me enjoying stuff, so if if you don't like things being enjoyed, this is not the stream for you. Uh, and also, uh, let me know if you want, if you have any requests, but uh, for the next 15 minutes, I'm going to play with some powder, so as always, 15 minutes, this game has to impress me, starting now. So if you've never played the powder game before, it's this. I like to call it a flash zen garden. And then, uh, let's see. Let's, uh, let's get, add some water to this. Ooh, now it's going to be wet powder and water falls a little bit faster. Why, we don't know. It just does. So now we got some water. Notice how the water runs. Oh, it's very nice. Oh, it's very, very nice. Uh, let's uh, let's get some more powder. Let's make a little island here. Make a nice little island. There we go. It's beautiful. It's a nice little island surrounded by water. How nice. How nice. Now uh, let's uh, let's have some ants. They can hang out on top and oh no, they're drowning. Oh, they're. <laughs> that is not what I expected the ants to do. Okay, uh, so then fan. Ooh, ooh, oh, it's oh, it's psychedelic. That's not what I expected this to do. Ooh, uh, can I clear this now? Reset, reset. Uh, so, let's let's do some water. Let's do some. Let's fill this up a little bit with water. Yeah, nice. Nice little ocean here. And then, let's put some mercury on top of it. Yeah. Oh, actually, the mercury will float. To, yeah, we'll go to the bottom. That's right. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very nice. And now, um... Actually, I gotta... Wait. Where's, like... Let's make it an ocean. Let's add some salt to this. A little salt water. There we go. Now, now it's really like our ocean because it's full of salt and mercury. This is very accurate. This is very accurate to our current ocean. We'll add some bubbles. That is not what I expected, but okay. <laughs> There's a little bubble there. It's not what I expected. Okay, now. Um, some nice magma. <laughs> oh, popped a bubble. Magma immediately is cooling in the water, and I'm I'm hoping it becomes. Yeah, there there I'm getting I'm creating an island with magma and water using science. Oh wait wait. More magma, more magma. There we go, and then we'll get where's the water again. We'll cool it down, yes. And we'll make a nice little rock formation created by a volcano. Yeah. We're cooling it down. We're cooling it down. Hopefully, I thought this would make an island, but I guess it's not really doing that. Oh, oh. Salt water is slowly trickling in. Maybe it's because we're on top of mercury. Um, and now let's blow it up. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. All right, now let's, let's reset this. Let's, I, I wanna make, let's seed. Let's try to make a nice meadow. Yeah, it's a nice little meadow. Oh, nice. 
There we go. Oh, and there's stone. I didn't see stone. We'll put some stone on top. There we go. Create a nice... Maybe we'll come up here like that. We'll make a little Stonehenge thing going on here. Oh, you can't create Stonehenge. It's a mystery. It's a mystery how Stonehenge was created. But now I, I kind of have created this nice stone box. That's good. And now let's fill that with some nitro. Nitroglycerin. All right, so this is just the town's uh, nitroglycerin uh, supposit, you know? Every town needs its nitroglycerin. There we go. Fill that up with some nice nitroglycerin. And, uh, you know, in case of a fire, we should be careful. So uh, give me some more stone. Some more stone here. There we go. We'll put a little stone. Do I have too much stone? Oh, no, actually, glass. Here, do glass. Did I reach a limit or something? Why can't I make stuff? Hmm, weird. Any, can I, what if it, can I make thunder? What? Can I do fireworks? Reset. Reset again. All right. <laughs> nice vine. This is not what I thought I was making. Okay. Gross. Don't care for it. But let's throw a ball in here. Boink. Oh, yeah. Making some nice bouncy balls in here. Enter the fighters. Deal with all these balls and fight each other for my amusement. Can I control him? I can. You want some of me, fighter? Huh? I'll knock these balls into you. Oh, he's murdered me. I've been murdered. <laughs> oh, cool. And I got a little race thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's getting windy. <laughs> like I said, it's going to be real chill. It's going to be a real chill game today. Okay. Let, let's see if I can do the thing I really wanted to do. All right? So here we start with some grass. I want some, where, where did grass go? Not gas, grass. Not vine. There was oh seed, seed. Yeah, we'll do some nice seed. There we go. Now we got a nice, nice little area here, and then let's do glass here because we haven't played with the glass at all. So let's um. I don't know why the glass is green, but whatever. There we go. And then we'll make a bigger one. There we go. All right. So what we're going to do is once again, this is where we keep our nitroglycerin. Right. Then in the event of any issue, we got a little glass of water here. So this will put out any, any problems we have. All right. Oh, I think the nitro is, is eating away at the glass. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Hey, let's do some fireworks. Wee! Fireworks! That didn't react the way I thought it would. That, that, all right. Um, how about just some fire then? Fire goes up, right? Oh my God, the nitro, oh no! 
Oh, the water's not helping. Oh, no. Oh, psychedelic, though. I really dig it. Uh, ooh, look, it's creating a whole, a whole new galaxy of stuff. Let's uh, let's continue to now. Let's add some viruses to this. Ooh, no! Oh, it's taking over. Oh, making sand monsters or something. Virus is taking over. Everybody calm down. I've made rock. Throw rocks at the virus. <laughs> Get it to calm down. Really? This virus is very interesting. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Oh, the virus. Virus is making water somehow. What's the metal do? The metal powder? The metal just kind of hangs in the air. Oh, I think I've reached like a... I'm guessing there's some sort of like maximum I can get to. Because like, every once in a while it just stopped working. It's like, ah, can't handle this anymore. Turn the speed up. Don't know what that's for. Here's a box. <laughs> Here's another one. Boom. Oh, I can make pachinko machines. Boom, boom, boom. Pachinko. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it exploded on something. Hit something it was it didn't like. It's going very well. It's a nice, relaxing powder game we're playing here. Uh, can we add some wind? Ooh. Okay, so let's 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 do something let's do something constructive here. Ready? So uh, imagine imagine you're just you're just walking along this grass, okay? You're just walk that's you. You're just walking along along here. And uh, There you are. This is just you. Nope. I wanted a player. There you go. There you are. There you are. You're just you're just kinda hanging around here. Tripping over bits of seed. But well, you know, you know how it is. Jumping around, having a good time. You know, hanging out. And then somebody else shows up, you know? Now, you want to stay six feet away because what if they have virus, right? So if they have the virus, oh, see, very much... Look how it spread. You don't. You, this is why it's important that you, you know, take the proper precautions because the virus infects the seeds and then chases you. Uh, jumping over it, you can try, but you end up, you end up dead. It's not good. It's not good. It's 4 a.m. and you decided to stop by. Well, thank you so much for stopping by here in the Flash Game Paradox. Uh, remember to wash your hands. There you go. See, see how the the soap. So clear, cleans the virus. It's a very good PSA here. Very good PSA. Uh, while you guys are here, I, I'm going to be plugging this for the end of time. But uh, I recently applied to G4. Thunderstorm's coming in. Oh, no. I uh, recently applied to G4. And, uh, oh, look at the lightning strikes. Oh, Be careful. See, it's why it's important not to be in an open field uh, in, in during a thunderstorm. It's very bad for you. Windy. Uh, I recently applied to G4. If you check out uh, at Plus Two Comedy on Twitter, if you guys could retweet that, it'd be real helpful to me. Uh, I'm actually getting a little bit of traction, so people seem to like the video. So if you guys could help retweet that, it'd be much appreciated. Especially you, Angel, since you're since you're out of the country. Uh, it'll actually help the algorithm even better. Um, the other thing you got to remember is you don't want to ever get covered in oil. 
because you know oil, oil you know that's Texas tea the, the black gold is what they call it uh, and it apparently makes you jump higher and makes you a little slippery but then you know what if you know something bad happens like a fuse is attached to you like like say you're at the end of this fuse and you're covered in oil you know and then you know at the bottom of it there's like a thing of gunpowder let's just say like that's a bad place for you to stand that's a real bad place for you to stand because like what if it then gets shot with a laser then you just look at oh see how bad that is so maintain six feet of distance uh, don't get covered in oil and stand near fuses and don't stand in empty fields uh, during thunderstorms and that's going to be time. <laughs> Perfectly timed. Perfectly timed right there. Uh, so, that this is the powder game. Uh, let's take a look at it over in my Flash Museum. Ooh. Here we are now in my Flash Museum. Scroll up a little bit here. Let's talk about the powder game. Now, here's the issue, as I always state here. Uh, a permanent display... Uh, there's only five spots for it, and as you can see, it's full. Uh, rotating displays, that means we'd put it out every, like, for two months of the year. Uh, only got six spots for that, and that's also full. So if I want to give it a good spot, I'm going to have to move something. Really enjoy the powder game. Uh, I, I, like I, I've been saying, uh, it is a flash zen garden. You know, you just kind of chill out. You play with some stuff. It does some stuff. There's no goal. Uh, there's no, you know, stress. There's no winning. It's just, uh, it's just kind of fun. Um, it's very unique, and uh, it's something everyone can enjoy. And it's also something that is uniquely a Flash game. Like, I'm trying to think if there is a standard video game that accomplishes what Powder Game does. Where it's just kind of like chilling out and enjoying just the space. Uh, Minecraft has goals. Uh, there's a game I can't think of the name of, uh, but I remember it was free on PlayStation Plus, where you're just kind of walking around an island. But th there is like a creativity aspect to this, which is really nice. Uh... As you may be able to tell, I'm very tempted to give this a spot in my Flash Museum. But I'm looking at it right now. Is it better than One Chance? No. Is it better than The Company of Myself? No. Is it better than Coma? No. Is it better than Work of Fiction? No. Is it better than The Impossible Quiz? No. It's definitely not a permanent display. But I could see us putting it out every once in a while. I think I'm going to give it a spot, but I'm going to have to drop something down. So let's let's just go through the rotating this way. I think we need frog flip fractions. That's That's got to stay. Uh, and then I think home run derby also has to stay. There's too many factors to home run derby that makes it worthwhile than staying. Uh, cat slapping. Mm. I think we might lose cat slapping. I know, like, Cat Slapping knocked some other good stuff out already for its spot, but, like, now with the power of hindsight, it's, very, it's nothing special. So I'm going to move this down to Great While It Lasted. I'll put it, like, towards the top of it. And I'm going to give Powder Game a nice little spot in the rotating display. I think it's important enough uh, because it is, while it's very simple... Uh, it is something that really only exists in the world of Flash games. And I think having some sort of representation like that in my Flash museum is important. Where it's just kind of... I don't want to call it a time waster. Uh, even though that is an apt description. But it's just kind of, kind of chill and kind of enjoyable. So I'm going to welcome Powder Game into my Flash 
Museum. What should I play next here on Flash Game Paradox? Leave that in the comments down below. And be sure to join me next week where I will be playing Adventures in Anxiety. Thank you so much for watching here on the Flash Game.